Let's talk about the cost of waiting some more. I'm not finished, okay? Is you finished? Is you done? No, I'm not. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, this is what I got from another uh, another wonderful, well-intentioned family. Well, you know, we'll wait till he, till he or she gets more serious, you know. Yeah, there's some interest, but, you know, we don't want to force the child into such a huge commitment. We don't want to push the child into this program and they don't, you know, they don't make it through the year or they don't make it through, you know, to the performance. Let me ask you this. What, what is holding you back from that? Okay. When a child says, well, you know what, mom, dad, I'm not serious about math. What would you tell them? Would you say, okay, you know what? Algebra, we'll, we'll, just go, we'll go ahead and just take it off the menu. You know, geometry, you ain't got to learn that. You don't, have, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. A lot of times when we think about music, we, 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 we really do put this music thing in the, the nice to learn, but you don't have to learn. There's a reason why music is included as a, as a, as a core subject, where it's actually acknowledged now as a core subject, where you do get your music, you do get your art, you do get your foreign language every single day. There's a reason why they do this. There's, some, there's something about this music thing that helps translate your child's academic performance in other areas. There's something about that learning that instrument thing, something about that discipline thing that music gives that helps your child get serious about the other academic subjects they may be holding back from. So I always tell um, a family this when they, when they give me that line, well, we, know, we don't know if they're really serious enough to, to be a part of this program. This program is so nice, but we don't know if they're going to be serious enough. I always ask them, are you serious enough? Because it's never the child. Because the child is only going to follow the leadership of the parents. When the parents are serious, the child is serious. We see it time and time again. We see it from professional athletes. We see it from professional musicians. We see it from executives. We see it from all walks of life. Successful people, as far as their work ethic, as far as what they're able to produce, more than likely have professional adults, serious adults, who took pride in learning, executing, performing, doing this in the art of the doing part they saw that they saw the need they saw how serious it was for them and they wanted to lead their children down that same road of excellence that they once had so i asked the child i asked the parents are you serious don't pass it on to them because we're the leaders we're the adults we're the parents the children do what we the children do what we lead them in doing so they see you reading books if they see you going to seminars, if they see you doing professional development, if they see you extending yourself to learn more, be more, and do more, they're going to have that natural tendency as well. So why not do it in a field that they can play and learn an instrument and have that skill for life? We're not talking about a skill that they can only, you know, when you do sports, love sports, but guess what? Them knees not going to last forever. That arm, it gets weak after a while. But your ability to play an instrument, there are 86-year-olds who play piano professionally and are happy about it. There's 77-year-old pianists who just play for their own enjoyment, who play for their grandchildren. They have a lifelong skill that no one can take away. That's what music does to a child. That's what music does for you or me. That's why adults want to learn piano. They always say, Miss Mavity, I when are you teaching adults? Because I've always wanted to learn. I've always wanted to learn. But what happened? Well, I just wasn't serious enough. Don't let that one, don't let that one thought be the trajectory of avoiding going through the process of learning anything else, particularly for your child. All right. So with that being said, don't fall into the cost of waiting. Download the Master Musicians Roadmap at mastermusicroadmap.com. Look at my training videos. Understand more in depth what we do for the children. We really teach music in a nurturing and organic environment. We do it without pressure. We do it without the forcing them to. We teach music in a way that makes them want to practice, that makes them want to perform, that makes them want to achieve. That's the kind of environment you want your child to be in who is not so serious. They come into a not so serious environment and get serious. That's where the magic happens. That doesn't just happen on the outside. You got to come on the inside. You got to cross your threshold and come into the program to experience that for your child. So go ahead and download that form. Click the link. 
get the roadmap, schedule a call, and let's get on the phone and get and get to work. The cost of you waiting, you waiting too long now. You still listen to me. <laughs> you need to go ahead and download that roadmap, and I'll see you there.